It was six weeks after my husband passed and I felt a bit as though I had the flu. So I was in bed, I went to bed and then my son came around on the Friday and he goes, Mum, you need to go to the doctor. And I says, oh no, no, no. I said, I'm okay, I'll go on Monday. I came home on the Saturday, just backwards and forwards. Mum totally just, just top, always just wanting to sleep and that's not mum at all. And my niece had a look at my leg and she says, oh, Auntie Susan, your legs are a bit puffy. She says, you really should go. And I says, oh, no, no, I'll go on Monday. It was really hard seeing my auntie like that. Mm. She was really, really, really unwell. But I remember just drawing around the, the infection, but I couldn't see where it was coming from. It was just sort of growing up her legs. It was really hard too because mum's had swelled legs before, so we thought it was just fluid. Um, but then I knew that was totally different to the fluid thing. I called the ambulance, I spoke to them for a while, they guided me through what to do. I said I'd drawn around it um, and then just put mum in the car and took her straight to White Cross. And with that they knew straight away what it was and what a good idea it was that I drew around it. And it was already spreading from that. Next thing I knew I had a tube going in here and a drip putting in there and I thought, oh. Then somebody was saying to me, you're a very sick girl. And I said, am I? And I wasn't being silly or anything. I just thought, well, am I? So I was in there for about 10 days. But the next day when I saw my leg, I thought, oh, you see something definitely wrong with us. It all come up and it all yucky and puffy and the skin looked awful. Of course, then my blood pressure they couldn't get it up. They kept going down and down and down. And then I ended up in ICU and I thought, oh God, I'm thinking to myself, you must be sick. From the Sunday afternoon when I saw her, about four o'clock to what it was on the Tuesday was just, yeah, I just didn't, yeah. It's hard to describe because it was such a huge change. It was red and puffy on the Sunday and then by the Tuesday it was oozing and weeping and it was, yeah, like, I guess pus um, coming out of her skin, yeah. It was just unbelievable. Then when I saw that ulcer on my foot, I thought, oh my God. It was really bad, it was bad. They were, the nurses were great, you know. Mum's very independent does not like anyone doing anything for her at all and I knew that then mum was not well at all when she didn't mind us coming in with her and helping her either shower or yeah. I just give them the thumbs up for everything they did for me they were just absolutely amazing with everything all personal cares and everything it was just so amazing everything they did or what they were going to do they asked and when there was a trainee on, they asked, and all I kept saying was, that person needs to learn, so we'll let them do it. It made a lot of difference to me because I felt confident with what was going on. And I knew that, um, you know, even if I asked something, I was going to be told, you know, the right thing, not just to be fobbed off. We've had the district nurses right through right through not a problem yeah they've all been amazing they always ask how you are and everything else with any problems you know saw here there and they you know always clean and you know get the gloves on clean the hands you know everything's done really amazing then take the dressing off and go straight into a bag and clean it up have a pick here take the dead skin off and you know have a good look at it and you know, to make sure that everything's going well. No, it was really good. I can't fault them. Yeah, they're just so good. I wish I'd pushed harder. I wish I'd, um, I wish I had pushed harder when I was here. Don't leave it. Just bite the bullet and get onto it sooner rather than later. I think your gut will tell you and trust it and just go with it.